Let's first see which of these numbers are divisible by 2. The first one is odd, so it's not divisible by 2. The second and the third one are even, so they are divisible by 2. Was it necessary to look at the entire number to determine if it's divisible by 2? No, it wasn't. We only needed to look at the last digit. Let's see for those same numbers if they are divisible by 5. The first and the second one are divisible by 5, while the third isn't. Was in this case necessary to look at the entire number? No, in this case also was enough to look only at the last digit. So, why is it that for divisibility by 2 and by 5 we only need to look at the last digit? That's because 2 times 5 is equal to 10, and we can those numbers represent in the following way. For divisibility by 2, the part on the left is divisible by 2, and we are left with the part on the right, which is the last digit of a number. And the same goes for divisibility by 5. What about divisibility by 4? Is it enough to look at the last digit of a number to determine whether it's divisible by 4? Well, let's look at numbers 12 and 22. They both end with 2, but the first one is divisible by 4, while the second one isn't. So clearly it's not enough only to look at the last digit. However, since 4 times 25 is equal to 100, it will be enough to look at the last two digits. For the numbers that we had earlier, we get the following. The part on the left is divisible by 4, so we only need to look at the two-digit ending. In this case, only the second number is divisible by 4. And the same goes for divisibility by 25. We only need to look at the two-digit ending. We saw that because 2 times 5 is equal to 10, for divisibility by 2 and by 5, it's enough to look at the last digit of a number. And for divisibility by 4 and by 25, we should look at the two-digit ending, since 4 times 25 is equal to 100. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. Is it enough to look at the two-digit ending for divisibility by 8? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.